hi guys so today i am going to create this look on um my client shona um, Shona is actually my wee cousin as well so we decided to have a play about with Helen E's new neon pigments like they're absolutely stunning and so so bright and um, we also played about with them in the waterline a wee bit again and um, yeah I just thought this was a really fun look to do especially getting to play with Helen's new pigments so if you want to see how we created this look please keep watching. So I've already started and um, I've done the eyebrow as you can see I leave my eyebrow quite messy because I use the Helen E stage primer to do all the hard work and cleaning it up. I just use it on a MAC um, 252 brush and I also use this to pat the base into the lid. So I'll just start by pulling the product and slowly cleaning up underneath the brow. As I said, if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how I do my brows, comment down below, but I'm just gonna quickly fly through this bit and I'll pat on the product all over the lid and then we'll move on to the actual fun bit, which is the eyeshadow. Okay, so now that I have on the base and I've just patted it down, I'm not actually setting this base because I want the colours to be really nice and vibrant. So I'm just making sure that it's all really, really patted down. This base does a lot of the product, it's, uh, a lot of the work itself. So you don't really need to do very much. So now what I'm doing is getting the Helene pigment in number 17 and I'm getting this on a flat shader brush and pressing this into the brow bone. Because we've done such a bright look, I'm wanting like a really nice bright highlight and this is literally perfect for it. So the real technique is to press it in rather than swipe it. Because we're going to blend our colours into it rather than blend it down into them. Okay, so then to start off the eyeshadow, I'm going in with um, a little bit of Stacey Marie's Be Perfect uh, Carnival Palette in Wasted. And I'm using the Soeva 228 um, Luxe Crease Brush, if I can speak. Um, so I'm going to start, and again, we haven't set our base. So I'm just going to start, I'm popping that in the outer corner. It will look messy to start off with, but don't worry, it does all blend in. Um, this is to try to get your colours to really, really pop. So I'm just kind of setting it down and wiggling the brush. And at the end in the inner corner, because we want to bring this up nice and high. So now I have that kind of base shade down, I'm moving into the P. Louise Secret Center palette, and I'm using the shade Addicted. This process may seem long, but it does just take time just to keep going back and forth with your colours to really, really build um, the intensity. So now I'm happy with the actual like shape and setting of that. I'm just going to go in with some of the infatuation. Gosh, I couldn't even say that there. From the P. Louise palette again. Um, just on a different brush and just slowly buff that into the outer corners. This will just help it blend a wee bit more again. So now that I'm quite happy with the colour that I have down, it does look quite messy at the minute, but don't worry, this really does pull together. I'm going to go in and cut the crease. So I'm just using again the base on a so Eva 226 um, smudger brush. I'm just going in and really carving that out. Look forward for me. And I always get my client to look forward so I can see that the um, crease is cut at the same um, height on both sides. And just take your time with this bit because you want your crease to be really, really nice and sharp. Okay, 
Okay, so now that I'm happy that they're cut at the same height, I'm then gonna start just filling them in again with another wee bit of the base. So I'm just literally kind of patting it on the same way I did before. Don't worry if there's purple and stuff in it, we will slowly cover that as we go. And the pigments are so pigmented that the, it, it helps a lot with covering the, the dark purple. Sometimes I like to blend the outer edge with my finger because I find that the warmth of my finger really just helps blend that outer corner. So now that I have that down, I'm using the stickiness of that to catch the pigments. Now don't be afraid, I like to put a, a good bit of the pigment on. Um, don't be afraid to play about with it a wee bit, it will fall down onto the skin because um, it is a pigment so I just um, wipe that away first I always when I'm using any sort of colorful pigments I always um, will do the eyes first 100% anyway um, so I don't really mind it being a wee bit messier because as I said I can always wipe it away so I'm just going through the colors so the first color I've just put down is a neon yellow pigment which is shade number one um, this is a really nice shade but I do find it's a wee bit drier than the rest of the pigment so just keep that in mind um, when you're choosing your base to apply it onto. Next I'm using the bright neon orange pigment which is pigment number four. I love this and it applies like an absolute dream. So again I'm just pushing that onto the lid. As you can see, it just sits down onto the lid. So, so nice. Then I'm using this pink one. This is possibly mine and Shona's favourite. This is pigment number three. Absolutely beautiful. I could just imagine these, like, these colours on my nails for going away on holiday or whatever. I just think they are absolutely beautiful. So, that is pigment number three going down. And again, don't worry about blending these yet. We're just really getting them down onto the eye first. And then last but not least, what we're going to blend it back into our shadow, which is the pigment number six. It is a bright neon purple. Again, absolutely beautiful um, colour. And I'm just pushing that into the skin. This one I do blend out quite a bit. So I'm actually using the same brush. I'm addicted again from the P. Louise palette. I'm just getting that and just pulling that out to the side so it blends into your outside colour because that's not the main colour I want to see. Um, I'm going to go back in with a wee bit of the pink and just press that in to blend the pink and the purple together. And it does, as I said, just play about with them. See how well they're blending together. If you need to add a wee bit more of one, add it and vice versa. Okay, so now I'm going to just do some black liner. Now that I'm happy with how that's all been blended, I'm just going to grab my MYX um, Matte Black Liquid Liner and just pull that along the top lash line. And then I'm just getting some of the um, purple colour we use from the P. Louise palette and just pressing that into the outer corner just to help it blend in a wee bit. And then I'm going to just get a wipe because as you can see with pigments they go everywhere. They're on my thumb and everything. Like they just go absolutely everywhere. Um, and I'm just going to clean up round the eye. You can do this as sharp at the side as you want or not. I kind of like leaving a wee bit more fuzzy. I think it just blends better. Um, and I'll blend the foundation into it a wee bit nicer then too. So now I'm just going to apply a wee bit of mascara to the lashes and of course um, I'm going to add falsies and then I'm going to talk to you through how I'm going to blend the foundation in because as you can see that does look quite messy still but when I do the foundation stuff I am going to blend that in yet. So I'm just going to set the lashes on so if you look down for me. Okay, so now um, I'm happy with the top of the eyes. I'm just going to go in and do the rest of the face. Um, 
so I will sim you out a wee bit but I'm just going to speed it up Um, it's pretty much the same foundation routine that I'll be I use it myself that I'm going to do in show notes today so um, if you do want to see that again I'll record that at a later time but for today I'm just going to speed through it so I'm just going to zoom out a wee tiny bit so you can see the whole face and then I'll show you how I, um, I'm going to finish off the eyes Okay, so now I'm going to um, finish underneath the eyes. I have finished this one, as you can see. So I'm going to move on to the other one. So I'm going to go back in with Addicted. And if you just look up to the ceiling. I'm just going to push this in. I find this colour definitely works better because obviously I've set under the eyes. Um, it definitely works better when you're pushing it in rather than swiping it. You will get a wee bit of fallout, but that's just expected. And you just need to try to wipe it away the best you can. So I'm going to go back and forth into um, the pink that I used out of the P. Louise palette as well and blend underneath that again. I do find that this purple is a wee bit drying, especially because... Especially because um, it is on a, on a set base, so to say. It worked really well above the lid, but I do find like underneath it it's going a wee bit gappy and it's a wee bit dry um, but then they say purples are supposed to be the hardest colour to to get so you just really need to play with it okay so now we're going to go into the waterline again I'm just getting a wee bit of cream um, concealer and I'm just applying that along the waterline to help our pigment stick um, I do suggest getting um, a piece of kitchen roll or toilet paper or whatever just to put underneath the eye for this bit because it does um, go everywhere so if you look up for me again I have to say I am annoyed at the bottom um, the bottom waterline for some reason that purple just is so dry it isn't sticking it was so perfect in the top one but I did set the bottom one the bottom um concealer first and i think if i had it done if i hadn't set it as well and left it to um pretty sticky it would have set a lot better so i'm going to do do showness lips and then we're going to zoom out and zoom in and have a few close-up shots and yeah this is the finished look so this is using the neon pigments by hell knee um on the eyes again it does just take a wee while to play about with them but i'm pretty happy with how this turned out so yeah, I'm going to move on to the lips and then you'll see the final result. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I've just paired it with a nice nude glossy lip um, using P. Louise's gloss in Holla, I think you call it. Um, so yeah, this was a process. <laughs> the purple underneath the lash line has really annoyed me, but I still think it looks really nice. You know, if you look down at your knees for me. I'm really happy with how vibrant the colours are. I mean, I just think these pigments are absolutely stunning. And the more that you play with them, I really think the more that you can do with them. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to see the foundation routine or your eye or the eyebrow routine, please comment down below and I will get that sorted for you. Um, but yeah, until next time, thank you for watching.